everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to play with a new product to me <laughs> um, and it is the Essential Palette from Chanel. I have always wanted to pick one of these guys up and I picked this up in the shade Rose Naturelle and that is 175 been playing around with this formulation. It is a concealer, a blush, and a highlighter all in one, perfect for summer travel, but also just in general, you guys, I am loving this formulation. Um, so I am gonna be playing with this guy. I'm also gonna be doing a really quick and easy I using just the Chanel pencils and a cream shadow. Again, super easy, great for on the go. And then I have a new little Coco Rouge flash. And then I have a new Rouge Coco flash color that I wanna share with you. I think it's just perfect little punch of color for summer. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look playing with the Essential Palette, um, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's get some makeup on my face. I'm a little sleep deprived today, so I'm looking a little rough. So I'm hoping that after I put some makeup on, I'll feel more refreshed. We're gonna use the Chanel La Beige Eau de Tente. You guys, I do love this stuff. It is a little bit, you gotta kinda play with it, but once you figure it out, it is amazing and such a unique formula. So I'm gonna put a squirt on my brush here and we're gonna get some refreshing uh, foundation going. That is two pumps of the Eau de Tente, and I'm just kind of letting that sink into the skin. This is one of those foundations that actually kind of looks better as it dries down. And let's go ahead and get to the star of the show. I picked up the Palette Essential in the 175 Rose Natural, or no, Rose Natural. And you guys, it is so pretty. So I have had my eye on this guy for quite some time, but I always thought I would be in that medium um, beige one, which just seemed a little bit almost too dark. It probably is not, but this guy is so pretty. You guys, this is the Rose Natural. It comes with basically a concealer, a blush and lip combo, and then a really pretty highlighter all in one. So this is your travel essential. And after watching um, Dree Dree does makeup, she did a Lucia Pika, kind of like this is their go-to five minute makeup. And it's made me want that ever since. So if you have not watched uh, Dree Dree does makeup, she is a Chanel makeup artist and so it's kind of fun to watch. She works at a Nordstrom, I believe in California, um, at the Chanel counter. And she did a whole little tutorial on this. <laughs> oh, and then it's made me want it ever since. So let me give you a swatch. I'm first gonna show you on my hand. And again, this is the concealer. This is the highlight. And then here is that beautiful blush. This is the concealer this is the blush and then here is this really pretty highlighter i have a few other fun things that we'll be using today i'm going to do a quick and easy look over here using undertone and that's the ombre um, in the little pot i'm going to be using vague in the ombre at contour pencil as well as another one in rose noir and then you guys i love the flash um, formulation and i picked up a really fun kind of punchy color called jour in the flash so again i thought that would be kind of a fun little simple look for today 
they have like a little cool kombuki that they kind of sell that goes with this. I don't have that, but I am gonna go ahead and use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush. And I'm gonna use this, cause they kind of use, this as a gel formulation. So you can use this concealer as foundation as well. So I'm gonna kind of come up underneath my eyes using this guy. We'll also use fingertips, but I just kind of wanted to, it looks like you can use this as well in your, um, on your skin. Okay, so one-stop shop, depending on if you can get the right color. This, there were several to choose from. I believe there is six different um, essential palettes, you guys, and they all were super pretty. I think it's gonna depend on your uh, skin tone. There's Rose Patel that was also super pretty. They're just, they're, these are kind of unique and interesting, and I'm loving the creamy formulation of this guy. So I'm gonna just press a little bit in first underneath my eye. Get rid of those bags. So far, what I have to tell you is I'm loving the formulation of that creaminess. It's not feeling dry. It, it does almost feel gel-like, I would say. Um, it is not drying, but it's not overly creamy, if you know what I'm saying. Can you guys tell the difference? Getting a little bit of those bags down. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of spot correct on my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and dip a little bit in here and kind of clean up, give myself just a little bit more coverage. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has a really skin-like texture to it. I kind of like it. <laughs> oh, I like it as foundation. So um, I tend to like cream foundations, obviously, so I'm kind of using this all over. I don't think the color is too light, to be honest with you. I think that it's gonna work for my skin tone. Um, and I, I like multi-purpose products, so things that you can use on uh, your face, you know, it's not just a concealer. Okay, you guys, I am gonna put just a teeny bit of the Rose Corrector. I probably should have done that first, but I'm gonna put just a teeny dot here to brighten up, um, to brighten up that eye area. Okay, before we finish using some more goodies in that little essential palette, I did bring down on my absolute favorite. I think I say that all the time, you guys. I realize when I'm editing, I say absolutely favorite, but you guys, it kind of really is. <laughs> um, you, this is my favorite. And this is the Duo Bronze at Lumiere. And this bronzer color is just perfection to me. You guys can see I am really using that guy. I'm going to use that today to warm up my skin. Okay, going back to the palette, we're gonna use this pretty rose blush, you guys. I'm gonna use it again with my It Cosmetics. I'm just gonna kinda dip that in there. And that, from what I understand, these are kinda buildable. So we're gonna start and just kinda build that up. A nice little rose flush here. And it looks a little bright, guys, but it's the kind that's gonna blend in real easily to your skin. I like that formulation. It's a little bit stiffer, so you can kind of get it there and then really blend it in, if that makes sense. It's kind of has a little bit of um, oomph to it, so you can kind of place it where you want. That gives a really nice flush. You guys, this whole little thing kind of just is very natural looking. 
um, from the concealer kind of just melts into your skin. I'm going to put a teeny bit on my lips just to show you the color on the lips. I've got another product that I'll top it off with, but I'm going to take the end of my lip pencil here and I'm just going to use that kind of lip um, brush. We'll put a little bit on the lips so you can see the color. So that's a little bit like more bright, um, kind of lifts the complexion a little bit. Now I am going to take my finger and I'm going to put it into this highlighter. Oof. Okay, so in this product, you guys, as I said, this guy is a little bit stiffer, um, the formulation, and then as well as this, but this um, highlighter is very creamy and soft. And let's go ahead and do a little highlighting on the cheeks. So I love that color, you guys. It's kind of in that pinky, a little bit rose color. I've been really enjoying that kind of highlight color. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the brow bone, guys. We'll be doing eyes in a minute. for a really simple look that's what i'm saying you could put liner and mascara on and be ready to go you guys this is pretty cool i'm liking it you guys obviously you don't this would be for someone that's interested in taking it for travel i just i like the formulation of this kind of concealer versus the other uh, chanel concealers tend to be a teeny bit dry on me so i so far am really liking that cream texture um, it's pretty good guys. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do like a quick and easy eye. I'm going to start with my favorite little undertone. I'm just going to put a little wash of color on my lids. Guys, undertone, just a really kind of champagne taupe color. And now I want to intensify it using the Vague Chanel uh, Ombre, Stilo Ombre at Contour. And I'm going to put that on my lash lines underneath my lashes, as well as a little bit in the crease to kind of deepen that up a little bit. It's a really nice bronzy taupe color. Okay, just define the eyes a little bit with that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit in my crease, you guys. This one makes a really pretty bronze. Okay, you guys, this would just be a pretty basic eye right here. Just super pretty shadows here. Nice wash of color. I'm going to take a little bit of the Rouge Noir Ombre and I'm going to line, give myself a little purple punch today. This is in here, you guys. It's a really pretty um, color. And I'm just gonna come, I'm gonna tight line underneath my eyes near the lash line. Taking a little bit of that and I'm just kind of running it underneath a little bit into that water line. I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows a little bit with my Anastasia little um, gel mascara I'm 
I'm going to try a little sample of the Grande Lash Mascara today. This is a peptide formula, so I'm hoping it's going to save my lashes. I'll be right back. One thing that I did um, but didn't get recorded is that I used purple chalk underneath my eyes. It's not quite as dark as the Rouge Noir, and I just find it to be just such a pretty um, waterline color. You guys, I am obsessed with <laughs> um, purple chalk is a must. I know, you're probably getting sick of it. I'm going to actually pull out the By Terry uh, Brightening CC Powder and Apricot, and I'm literally just going to do a little bit of powder just to set everything here. I don't want to take away that glow that we've got going on, but I do want to set this um, kind of concealer slash foundation. And then one other fun thing is it finally showed up, you guys, but Mandy Davis from Mandy MUA had told me that I absolutely need to get the blush in elegance from Chanel. This is like her favorite shade and I was like, oof, it finally showed up. It took like forever. I ordered it and it took forever. I do not know if there was a run on it, but you guys look at what a pretty color that is. Now I already have some of that rose from the Essential palette on, but I thought I would top off with a little bit of this so we can check it out. Um, you guys, it is pretty. It's kind of this, it looks more peach. Um, let's put a little bit on. Oh well, yeah, I like that color. It is kind of subtle and really pretty. You guys, that is a really pretty color. And I often like to do cream blush and then top it with a powder blush. It kind of just seals everything in. That is so pretty. Now, one thing that I like to kind of do is I kind of like to take the blush and just kind of pull it together with the rest of my look. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the little Chanel brush here, and I'm just gonna bring that kind of up here and tie that together. That's just something that I always feel like looks kind of nice. Um, putting a little bit of that color up, just kind of by that brow bone. Ooh, that's pretty, you guys. Um, I just feel like it pulls the whole look together. I actually like this color with this eyeshadow, with these eye pencils. So it just kind of bring, makes everything a little bit more cohesive. Okay, now to the fun part. One of my favorite formulations in lipsticks from Chanel are the Rouge Coco Flash. Um, you guys, if you are someone who likes kind of like a glossy lip, but maybe is not exactly a, a lip gloss girl, these are like the perfect hybrid. And I'm gonna do a whole video on my little collection of them, but I bought a new one, and this one is called Jour. And it is a little bit punchier than I normally do, but I always um, recommended this color and it was just kind of a good day to day, but a little bit punchier. And I'm gonna show you, they're just so easy to use. They're glossy and pretty. I think this color is a great day to day that's just gonna kind of liven up your complexion. And I think it's great for summer and spring. It's not too over the top, but it is just really kind of pretty. So you guys, these are so gorgeous, shiny, easy to wear, don't need to do anything. You can just slick them on um, and I will, I've got a whole collection, so I will show you what I have <laughs> of my little flash. Um, but so let's go ahead and end this look with a little bit of fragrance. And I'm a little bit sad today because both my kids, my daughter made it to New York City um, and I'm glad they're having the time of their life, I hope. But the last time I was in New York, I bought the Maison Francis Kirkshons Baccarat uh, Rouge um, 540. You guys, mm, this smells wonderful. 
It always is gonna remind me of New York. It is kind of a very rich, it has a little bit of sweetness like candy in the beginning and then it dries down to the most lovely fragrance. I knew I was sort of getting older. Um, <laughs> When I was, I mean, not older, but this is a rich fragrance. I usually like to wear sort of lighter, brighter fragrances, but I'm noticing as I'm getting older, I'm liking these kind of richer, more complex fragrances and that it, this one is one of them. And I, I just love it, you guys. I was kind of surprised. Um, I just, ooh, I wish I could explain it a little bit better. It just smells yummy and delicious. This is one that definitely is more of a statement fragrance. You will, um, it's not close to the skin per se, meaning people will comment on it. <laughs> on it. Um, as it dries down, you guys, it just becomes lovely. And when I say candy, it has sort of this, like as I'm saying is I'm not super into sweet fragrances. So it starts out sweet and then it just dries down into something really rich, creamy and complex. So I have been using quite some of it, but it will always remind me of New York because when you're in New York, it is just much more humid. I sometimes feel kind of, we've just walked all day. I kind of feel a little bit grubby, but then I would squirt, squirt on some of this and then I would just feel so like, mm, I just love it. So it completely reminds me of New York. So I'm wearing it today because my kiddos are there um, together without me. <laughs> oh, so in honor of them, that's what we're doing. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this look of the day. And you guys, thank you so much for always being so supportive. Have a fantastic day.